Already one third of the year is up. Nintendo has barely anything, and all they have is remakes of two games of horrible reception. The total 3DS and Wii U online after and now as well as some big emulators. Um, the Switch 2 is coming out, that's why Nintendo has barely anything coming out. Nintendo is preparing all the big games. I think, judging based off the schedule Nintendo has, like, I, like, I actually literally doubted this whole Switch 2 rumors, like, really? Switch 2 rumors? PS Switch is selling pretty well. But then Nintendo put out a freaking partner showcase. Like, no one likes partner showcases, okay? Don't tell me you do, because they, they don't, okay? You know? And, they, and of course, these people are, of course, upset that emulation has been taken down. Okay. Because they can't play games for free. That's why. Sony has to play any new games in 2025. One big new title was censored. With censored Kumbait. With alternate very eyes. They tried to pair it, Panda into. To, uh. Only the weirdos. Okay. The game still has a 9.2. There was, there was, there was not even review bombing on Metacritic for. There was talking about Stellar Blade. Okay. Xbox has played gone for part of no games or so this year. Scurry X released a game only for the flop that our company has been bet money. Both Nintendo and Sony have taken down tons of contests for games that allow players to create whatever their hearts desired. Um, yeah. Play Oh yeah, and then, uh, Nintendo, the whole thing is over the Gmod thing. Play much no normal games of developers outside of FM ports. We're seeing the impact of the new video game cast happening right now, aren't we? Do we think the next deal will be better? Okay, Nintendo, with Nintendo releasing a new console, uh, every analyst says that there's going to be a new console announced pretty soon. And Nintendo's just going to wrap up the Wii U. Not the Wii U. The Switch, what, 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 Switch games with a bunch of ports. They did this with the 3DS as well. The last couple of 3DS games, like minor games or ports or remakes. They did that with the 3DS and they're doing it with the Switch. You know, they released the last major, major game, which was Mario Wonder. I think that was Nintendo Switch's last major game. Unless they were releasing, like, Pokemon remakes. Pokemon Black and White remakes for the Switch. Switch as well. But the last Switch 1 game could be, last major one could be, uh, you know, Mario Wonder. Okay. And Sony and Microsoft are not doing too well. Okay. Neither of them out. I, I, you know, I know Sony fanboys would say that they're doing so well, but Sony's profitability is actually much lower than Microsoft. That's pretty funny because they always say that Microsoft is doing so poorly and so horribly, but Microsoft has been making a lot of money off of the Game Pass, which is only on PC and Xbox. Can't play a Game Pass on uh, PlayStation, uh, and PlayStation has no games. Uh, you know, we, we have, we, this has basically been a meme for a long time. And this, this is some modern gaming. Okay, nothing, like, nothing sells anymore. Like, Dragon's Dogma, that game came out, and now it's dead. No one playing it, no one cares. Okay, you know, Final Fantasy Rebirth, you know, they said that Tifa's boobs would save the gaming. Nope. <laughs> they really thought that people would buy that game because of Tifa's boobs scene. The, P, the beat scene. They really thought. That these people would, you know, and the whole thing of Stellar Blade is that most people who play, actually played the game for the story and plot said the game was still good. Okay, they mo people who don't give a crap about boobs and games. Okay, as well, but it, it was still the number one game too. It still beat out Mario Kart, which isn't a very you know hard thing to do, but. Because it's Mario Kart's on one console. But it is pretty funny that gaming in 2024 has kind of just faltered. It is kind of stagnating. Xbox is not really moving much copies. Sony isn't doing much better. Sony's only doing well because people in Europe will still buy the garbage FIFA games that EA puts out. I just don't understand why people buy a console just to play FIFA. Okay? And they, they'll buy... It's just Europe and FIFA. Right? They, they'll play... The same game over and over and over again. And it's pretty funny. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.